Hello, Namaskar and a very good evening to all the viewers who are watching our sessions out there. This is Simran Singh and you are watching this particular live interactive session of NCRT on Evidya channel number 6 to 12. Besides, we have so many different mediums through which you all can connect with us and you can also participate in our live sessions by raising your queries, messaging your questions, your messages, your feedback in the comment section of our YouTube channel that would be NCRT official. So it's around 4 p.m. on your watch and regularly from 4 till 5 p.m. we come up with our special sessions for all our viewers and you know what we are going to discuss today. Well, it's a journey of National ICT Awardee Teacher. Now, just providing you a glimpse of who National ICT Awardee Teachers are. They are resource persons of the nation who have contributed immensely in the process of teaching and learning by coming up with new ICT interventions in the field and also scaling up the classroom experiences of all the students that they are teaching. And we come up with these sessions showcasing their journey so that all our viewers can be inspired by their life journey. So let me introduce you to the recipient of National ICT Teachers Awardee who has connected with us in the conversation. She is Ms. Sukanyade. Namaskar ma'am. Namaskar. We welcome uh, you. Hello. Good afternoon to one and all. Greetings uh, from my end. Thank you so much uh, Ms. Simran for uh, this wonderful introduction. And ma'am, let uh, me also uh, take all our viewers across your journey. Surely we'll be discussing that for one hour, but just a few lines in your introduction. Ma'am is a trained postgraduate teacher who has been teaching mathematics in Mahadevi Birla Shishu Vihar, Kolkata, West Bengal for the past 19 years. Besides, her goal in life is to help her students develop a better understanding and clarity of mathematical concepts and at the same time to enjoy the learning process as well. She uses ICT tools to achieve this and to make a positive impact in the teaching learning process and also to encourage the development in the 21st century skills. So viewers, as already mentioned earlier, in this live session, if you have any of the queries, of course, you can reach out to us in the comment section of our YouTube channel, that's NCRD official. Besides, if you are watching this particular live telecast through television, then here is the contact number flashing on your screens. So feel free to give us a call at 88004404559. And a specific mail ID is also right there on your screens. It is training.helpdesk at the rate ciet.nic.in. So before commencing the program, an important piece of information regarding G20 for all of you. We are proud of the fact that India assumed the G20 presidency and will convene the G20 Leaders Summit for the first time in the country in this year. That's 2023. The nation is deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism. India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play a very important role by finding pragmatic global solutions for the well-being of everyone and in doing so, manifesting the true spirit of Vasudhev Kutumbakam or should I say the world is one family. So let's begin the conversation and Sukanya ma'am, I request you to share the beautiful journey of yours with all our viewers. Thank you so much once again. Uh, first of all, I would like to convey my heartfelt gratitude to CIT and CRT for giving me this remarkable platform uh, where I can share uh, my experiences my humble thoughts and my journey with all of you, with all the teachers, students, parents and stakeholders who are hearing me and can view me right now. So uh, let me begin uh, what I want to say. Um, in a nutshell, uh, my journey uh, is the journey of a student because I consider myself as a student in a lifelong learning process. Uh, I am Sukanya Day, mathematics teacher at Mahadevi Birla Shishu Vihar, Kolkata, West Bengal, affiliated to CIC. Uh, let me give you a brief um, introduction, a short biodata of myself. 
Uh, I'm a postgraduate trained teacher uh, in pure mathematics and uh, I'm presently teaching uh, grade 6 to 10 mathematics and physics 6 to 8. Uh, the additional responsibilities which I have are uh, being a coordinator mathematics department for the middle school, uh, uh, engaging in Tinker Lab activities, quiz club, science and innovation club, being a mentor teacher, resource person for ICT tools, data analysis of students' performance for specific classes, training students for inter-school activities and competitions, engaging students in cultural activities, and uh, these are quite uh, some to mention. Uh, my journey had actually started uh, when, uh, from my childhood, uh, I passed ICAC and ISC from Carmel School, Dhanbad. Then I pursued uh, mathematics honors from Ashutosh College, University of Calcutta. Um, I continued to pursue masters in pure mathematics again from Baligan Science College, University of Calcutta. And this is for this was followed by bachelors in education uh, from Institute of Education uh, for Women, Hastings House, University of Kolkata. Um, as soon as I passed my uh, college, I was a fresher when I started working uh, in Mahadevi Birla Shishu Vihar in August uh, 2003. And it has been a journey of 19 uh, and few more months, a long journey. And I would say I have a kind of grown with the school and it has been an integral part of my life. Uh, here's a short glimpse of my school, which you can see here. Um, let me okay I'll just check this way can you can you uh, am I audible now yes you are audible okay uh, Mahadevi Birla Shishu Vihar uh, is a prestigious uh, institution it is the a part of Ashok Hall group of schools uh, it is the first member of the Ashok Hall uh, family which was established in 1946 in Kolkata, West Bengal uh, by uh, our founders, uh, Dr. Srimati Sarla Birla Ma'am and Sri Vasant Kumar Birla Sir, uh, who are the legends, pioneers and philanthropists uh, known for their developmental work in the field of education and development. Uh, this is affiliated to CISCE and uh, it is an ISO certified school, ISO 9001-2015 and 14001-2015 uh, both for quality, uh, academic quality as well as environmental uh, awareness. Um, our school uh, caters to the holy, holistic development of children and all-round development, personality development of students, uh, apart from uh, inculcating in them 21st century skills to uh, develop and build them as uh, responsible, digitally empowered, empathetic global citizens of the future. Uh, Mahadevi Birla Shishu Vihar takes utmost care to go beyond the syllabus and traditional curriculum to imbibe in the students life skills and problem solving attitude. Uh, there has been a constant endeavor in my school to focus on holistic development and building of 21st century skills by creating ICT enabled classrooms, uh, ensuring that every child and teacher has access to ICT tools and resources, Wi-Fi and smart class, uh, encouraging capacity building and training of teachers, bridging the digital divide. Uh, there is a provision of providing uh, pen drives, tablets, kindles for all students and the students are from every strata of the society. I feel my journey is a journey through uh, development, through, gro uh, through growth, and uh, an utmost um, process of transformation. I would divide my journey into three stages. 
well, before I was ICT aware, after gaining some basic idea about uh, ICT tools, and then the present stage when I am learning constantly and working on further development. There were some key areas in my journey where I thought uh, could be quite challenging. Somewhere uh, to mention, uh, being a maths teacher, I'm sure uh, many of the maths teachers will relate to this, that uh, uh, students tend to have an apprehension. Sometimes uh, if they uh, tend to uh, try difficult problems or tend to understand abstract concepts, when they are not able to uh, focus on which process they are going to adopt to solve a problem and they um, lose the confidence in handling abstract and logical or analytical subjects like maths. Uh, this was one challenging area for me uh, to devise a way to effectively communicate to the children so that they can uh, develop a better clarity of concepts and as well as uh, be more confident in understanding how to handle uh, mathematical problems. The second point was uh, catering to the diverse needs and uh, learning abilities of students. There are, there are many students who do not learn at the same pace. Some grasp the concepts very fast, some take time. So how to devise a way so that I can take care of all these students at the same time? Uh, another key area which I found, uh, I always had a query. I used to think that uh, ICT tool can be only used by a teacher who is a computer science teacher or who is dealing with computers. But later on, um, as I got more acquainted with ICT integration, I got to know that to understand ICT integration, we have to use it as a tool to uh, connect the learning content with the pedagogical process. The goal is to make teaching more impactful and to communicate uh, effectively to the children. So um, ICT can be used by uh, any teacher uh, who is teaching any subject to make the teaching learning process more impactful. And the fourth uh, challenging area for me was adapting to the modes of uh, transformative modes of learning, especially during the years uh, when COVID pandemic uh, was there. My first insight in ICT tool was uh, long back when I uh, had completed a course from Vidya Sagar University. Uh, it basically gave, gave me some insight with the basic knowledge of uh, Microsoft Office, operating systems, uh, optimal use of internet, you know, connecting to the internet using email, search engines, uh, connecting the input and output devices, knowledge of some basic software installation, uh, antivirus. Uh, or uh, even talking, uh, you know, typing in some regional um, language, uh, certain software. I gained these insights in the preliminary stage. Uh, that time I was just learning the basics and with the, that knowledge, I tried to uh, bring some difference in my classroom teaching. Uh, the tools which I used to follow those days were Microsoft Office tools. I used to um, use photographs for storytelling in the class and build a concept around it. I also used audio files. I used to record audio on my mobile and uh, introduce a concept in the science classes. Um, I also used videos with Windows Movie Maker and uh, Microsoft Paint, uh, use of internet, and also I used to encourage my students to uh, look into educational programs on television, on Doodarshan, as well as there were some very um, important programs, useful uh, informative programs which were archived. I used to um, ask my students to go through them from YouTube. Uh, exploration, documentation and sharing was the keyword those days when I just started with uh, using these basic ICT tools. I remember I wrote uh, some uh, instructional manuals for uh, my colleagues and uh, other teachers uh, where there were many activities which they could use in uh, teaching mathematics as well as science in um, grades 3, 4, 5. 
um, that time uh, I wrote more than 500 manuals where I used to uh, first write, they were handwritten, then I used to type them out and later on I saved them on drive and shared across uh, the teachers of our school and our sister concerns. Um, I always encouraged experiential learning uh, where students uh, would conduct the experiments in class and create innovative videos which they used to share and there were uh, peer discussion sessions where they used to brainstorm, ask critical uh, thinking based questions and they used to develop a concept, come up with solutions. So uh, those days, this was something which I really enjoyed and uh, engaged the students in collaborative effort. And I used to use uh, uh, simple elements from daily life like uh, uh, classroom stationery to um, lead to concepts in mathematics and uh, science. Um, uh, there was this uh, project uh, connecting classrooms by British Council where our school had participated, where we collaborated with schools in Europe and uh, we created a project, we made a project uh, um, like uh, every teacher and there were teams in our school who had participated. My project wa was known as Reaching Our Roots. It was knowing about ancient mathematicians from India and the world. So uh, students uh, first time they collaborated, they uh, researched and they created a presentation which was uh, appreciated and uh, this gave them immense confidence to not only stay connected with the roots but also to explore and connect with students uh, outside India. By the time I had reached the stage two where um, I could see um, we were, we used to use um, social media. Uh, I personally uh, created WhatsApp groups and encouraged my students to create WhatsApp groups in which they have um, uh, created these groups for discussion uh, where they used to uh, share ideas, talk about projects and um, uh, in, in a way brainstorm prior to the classes and later on they used to work on those ideas and uh, create collaborative projects. Um, that time we used uh, projectors and tablets, interactive educational puzzles, uh, smart class, smart boards. Um, always there was an, um, an encouragement towards collaboration, creativity and critical thinking. After brainstorming using these uh, tools, they used to, in the class, they used to work out at a problem and try to solve that, uh, try to arrive at a solution to solve the problem. Um, here you can see uh, implementation of ideas which were discussed earlier for real life problem solving. Students were by that time using uh, tablets, using smart boards uh, in every class which were present, uh, playing uh, games on uh, tablets and mobiles which were used to enhance their logical reasoning skills and also used um, uh, projectors for sharing their ideas. There was this project in 2016 uh, known as Learning with Moving Images. Uh, this was an endeavor of an organization called Pichitra Parshala as well as uh, along with Birla Industrial and Technological Museum where uh, we had to create a learning design using moving images and uh, ICT tools. Um, uh, I remember I had created along with a colleague um, a learning design where we used moving images to uh, establish a concept in algebra which won the best learning design uh, award uh, and this was a beautiful collaborative uh, experience where we learned a lot from our fellow uh, teachers uh, who had come to participate from all over the nation and here you can see the media coverage of that. Uh, I would just um, um, request uh, Simran ma'am just to uh, guide me. Are you able to see the screen? Uh, yes, I am able to see the screen that has got an endeavor to educate, digitally empower and reach out to larger communities. Then there is a photograph on the screen and also towards the extreme right there is a text regarding guiding the children. 
uh, I think, ma'am, uh, it's not uh, the full screen is not visible. Uh, yes, maybe uh, three pictures are not visible out there. So you may try sharing it uh, by entire screen. Uh, I'll just um, stop sharing and I'll do the same again. Hello, viewers. An important piece of information regarding the availability of NCRT textbooks as all our viewers keep on asking us about where you can find and you purchase the NCRT textbooks. So the NCRT textbooks for the academic year 2023 to 2024 are available throughout the country and these textbooks may be purchased directly from NCRT sales counters and you know this NCRT sales counters they are located in New Delhi, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Kolkata and Guwahati. Also the sales counters will be functional on all the weekdays including gazetted holidays, Saturdays, Sundays, all the weekdays and the timings would be 9.30 a.m. in the morning till 6 p.m. in the evenings. So you may place an order for the books online from our website and the website link it is flashing on your screens it is ncrtbooks.ncert.gov.in I am again repeating it it is ncrtbooks.ncert.gov.in and the books will be delivered straight away at your doorstep without any extra charges or extra fees. And if you want the soft copy or the PDF version of NCRT textbooks, then they can also be downloaded for free from NCRT, Diksha, ePartshala website and mobile application. So you may visit the website that is ncrt.nic.in to know more about the authorized vendors. So uh, Sukanya so ma'am, we may please have your screen over there so that our viewers can see it clearly. So Kanya ma'am, if I am audible, yes. you may please yes. respond. Uh, yes, can you, can you see the screen now ma'am? Ma'am, I request you to sh share the screen and make it full screen so that uh, it, is, it has got larger font and it will be clearly visible to all our viewers. And uh, till you do the settings, I may inform all our viewers that here we have a session from 4 to 5 p.m. regarding the journey of National ICT Awardee Teacher. Now just providing a glimpse to all our viewers who National ICT Awardee Teachers are. They are the resource persons of the nation who have contributed immensely in the process of teaching and learning by coming up with new interventions in the field of ICT and also by raising the classroom experiences by enhancing the experiences for all the students that they are teaching in their classrooms with something very new and innovative at the same time. And why do we come up with such sessions? So we can motivate and inspire all our viewers with the journey of the recipients of National ICT Awardee Teacher. So you all can inspire and at the same time you can get cues, hints and guesses from the activities, from the ICT techniques and also the applications that our teachers and the award winners have already used. So Kanya ma'am, uh, do we have the complete screen over there? Yes ma'am. I think now it is, it will be clearer. Uh, Ma'am, there might be a technical glitch from the end. That's why we might not have the PowerPoint uh, as it should be on the screen. Yes, ma'am, I think so. <coughs> so, till you set that up, let me inform our viewers that we still have around half an hour left in the conversation. So, if you have any of the queries, anything you would like to know from us in this live session, so you can keep calling us at 8800440559 and the specific mail ID that is training.helpdesk at the rate ciet.nic.in is also flashing on your screens. So viewers I may inform you that we will have to take a minor break in the session but uh, we will be right back within few minutes. So keep watching Evidya channels and stay connected to NCRT official. Namaskar.
Hello viewers, once again welcome to NCRT's live interactive session. This is Simran Singh and we had a program for 4 to 5 p.m. regarding the journey of National ICT Awardee teacher. In the conversation, we are joined by Ms. Sukanya De Ma'am. So ma'am, I request you to present the slides and inform our viewers more about your journey. Children started using uh, interactive tools on the smart board, smart class, uh, uh, interactive puzzles and games on tablets and concept development with uh, simple applications. Uh, I was always looking into the quizzing team uh, for over 10 years. I've been creating online quiz modules, trained students, uh, researched and prepared questionnaire both online and offline. And these were the various ICT tools which I used Quizlet, Kahoot, Typeform, Google Forms, and quizzes. And with that, uh, the children also are very enthusiastic about it and they create their own quizzes and they also uh, conduct quiz sessions and uh, represent our school uh, over uh, in inter school competitions nationwide. Uh, I have tried uh, uh, training children for Rubik's Cube solving, and uh, now uh, earlier it was followed by. Uh, following the algorithms and now our children are using CS timer software also to, uh, following the uh, speed cubing norms and uh, they have also taken interest in various collaborative uh, math lab activities which they share with uh, students of other schools uh, over uh, online meetings. Uh, I have tried using different apps like I used to use Google Earth for uh, not only generally uh, there are certain apps for uh, which are subject specific but I used to use this to explain concept in mathematics uh, like uh, playing um, conducting a tour on Google Earth I could uh, show them uh, various places which are almost like subsets of a, a bigger uh, of a state and various states are subsets of the country country and various uh, country the, the association of countries again uh, form subsets of continents and uh, finally uh, they form a part of the earth so uh, this type of um, union of uh, small sets i used to introduce using uh, applications like google earth This is a very unique initiative taken up by was taken up by a school where the interior of a bus was transformed into a digital lab and uh, this showcased uh, various uh, interactive uh, puzzles, experiments and quiz which uh, were demonstrated by our students to other students. These students are uh, from schools which are generally run by NGOs. You can see here uh, the director of uh, British Council and Deputy Council General of uh, Russian um, um, Embassy. They are here to uh, encourage the children on the occasion of 70 years of uh, completion of our school, 70 year celebration. So this was a time where children could uh, reach out to larger communities and uh, enlighten other children also with the digital tools. Uh, in 2017, I got connected with uh, NCART, CIET, and uh, I came across multiple professional development courses uh, from there, and I used to religiously follow these courses. This is uh, was, I would say, a turning point in my career, and in fact, it is uh, it is a transformative uh, experience for me. Um, to me, this place is almost like. Uh, a source of light where all the educators uh, can come with their small little lamp and get the uh, light from here and uh, take it on 
to eradicate and overcome the darkness of uh, ignorance so after uh, following the courses of ncert i got a much more clarity about ict tools and how i can use them to develop a better understanding of concepts and to also make learning process more enjoyable to nurture 21st century skills as well as to foster uh, a, a critical thinking uh, creativity empathy and uh, the spirit of communication in my students uh i got to know certain things that applying the right ict tool in the teaching process is very vital so i used to plan out my lessons stating that at which point of the lesson what kind of ict tool could be used and uh, whether that tool is applicable at that point or not or if not uh, what else will be more impactful and i wrote this i shared my ideas on wiklet and on my blogs where uh, i spoke about the essential use of uh, the correct subject specific or uh, other ict tools to make our lesson plans more enriching and helpful for the children uh, i used to sort out the ict tools by that time i got an, an insight of much more, uh, many more ict tools uh, like uh, i used to use geogebra mathspad uh, fetch simulations google applications that included slides forms docs jamboard a quizies kahoot uh, padlet wiklet uh, open educational uh, so resources on various platforms uh, google classroom geogebra classroom whiteboard fi you can see there are various ict tools i used to segregate them in uh, compartments like some i used to use for creating content some i used to use for sharing them or storing them some i used to uh, redesign something and some i used to use for monitoring the learning outcome uh here i would say i would uh, now on what ict tools are uh, were being used by me in this journey uh geogebra as we all know is a dynamic uh, platform with multiple um um applications which help the children to understand mathematical concepts with very a good clarity they can actually construct these concepts in front of their eyes and visualize them like never before so here i used uh, i created some applets on geogebra which is very easy for teachers to create if they uh, follow the instructions they can easily create the applets and you can i'll show you one uh, of them here i am using um a slider where i am trying to explain the concept of how to create a polygon of n sides and uh, just moving by the slider i can establish the concept of a regular n sided polygon and i can also explain that the minimum number of sides needed for the polygon to uh, be constructed is 3 similarly there are other uh, um applets which i i created one of this is verification of the property of the angle sum property here also using the slider i have tried to uh, prove that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle uh, is 180 degree so now what is happening the child is able to see maths uh, instead of just running uh, remembering the formula or, and applying that now Uh, the child knows how it is happening certain concepts why they are happening and where they can be used and applied like that i used i uh, created multiple uh, applets on geogebra i also used fed simulations which you can see uh, which again is a dynamic platform where uh, you can uh, arrange and create these simulations to uh, explain the concepts in uh, physics maths and stem based subjects um my children really enjoy uh, exploring the ict tools be it uh, working on these applications mathspad is another application which is very user friendly and uh, children can uh, use it uh, on their own to construct um, geometrical figures without actually needing to uh, use them on a on a paper um, and uh, this was really helpful during the time of the online classes during the pand pandemic years uh, you can see here some more uh, ict tools here are uh, the uh, ex exercises on um, integers which i used on fet and on area here you can see the 
uh, maths pad tool which I've used to construct the geometrical figures. There is and there was another um, platform called Seesaw where I used to create some lessons and connect with students as well as this is a platform where you can connect to other teachers and parents as well. Uh, I use GeoGebra Classroom to uh, monitor the learning assessment, uh, uh, learning outcome of the children where they can all work on a task collaboratively under the supervision of the teacher. Uh, I also used various uh, quiz platform as I already told quizzes and students by now have become more independent and more confident with ICT tools. They can actually um, operate this and there used to be a session where one child used to uh, discuss an ICT tool with the um, rest of the class enhancing peer learning and uh, they became very much confident not only with using ICT tools but with the concepts. Uh, I celebrated Pi Day by uh, having this activity on Padlet where they had measured the circumference of um, a circle or a spherical body or a cylinder and they had shared their ideas. Uh, um, the correct measure of uh, Pi had to be achieved and this was a collaborative activity. On Google Jamboard also this was a collaborative activity where they used um, pasted photographs of common uh, daily life um, visuals which uh, can be connected to mathematical figures. I shared this on my blogs and I also tried to create some content uh, using uh, Google Slides and um, PowerPoint also, interactive worksheets. Uh, I tried to create more content uh, like uh, videos on... Time to explore. Are the I'll following well-defined collections of elements? Can we call each one of them a set? Three colors of a rainbow, all the continents in the world, collection of all good badminton players in your class, all letters in the word uncountable, factors of the number 56. Let us check. The first one, three colors of a rainbow, does not form a set. This is because... This type of yes, ma'am. So, Kanya, ma'am, you may explain it simultaneously because somehow we are not able to get the audio from. Okay. Okay. Uh, so here I try to uh, create a compendium where uh, various activities uh, where uh, I could sum them up and uh, use them for um, in the teaching process uh, as you can see some very simple activities which children can perform and uh, these were the various uh, educational content which I was uh, creating and I continue to create for uh, enhancement of uh, the learning outcome Time to explore. Are the following well defined collections? Uh, I found uh, various um, uh, platforms, uh, especially uh, they, these are extremely helpful and I would call them the treasure trove of uh, for an educator. Uh, NROER, uh, the National Repository of uh, Open Educational Resources, I explored that and I found multiple um, um, open educational resources, uh, lesson, lesson plans, activities, which were really helpful and I also started storing my lessons out there. Uh, 
uh, apart from that, uh, these were the few very immensely helpful platforms uh, where I uh, was highly engaged. And uh, not only me, uh, I'll talk about the Diksha portal, where uh, most of the teachers, all, or in fact, every teacher of our organization had enrolled and benefited by the immensely enriching uh, um, educational material there, the courses, and we have been a part of uh, being a part of every single activity and uh, program which is uh, uh, uploaded there. And uh, we are benefited and uh, being highly enriched by the uh, Diksha portal. Apart from that, e is uh, another uh, mobile application which I am encouraging my students to carry with them so that they can on the go all the time stay connected with uh, the, the educational resources and even audio books. Uh, these three um, very enriching platforms were uh, immensely helpful for me in my journey. Uh, I had shared my uh, thoughts and lesson plans and learning content on Weeklet as well. And uh, I have used um, uh, various other uh, ICT tools to create infographics and mind maps. Um, and also, I've started uh, using Audacity software to create with Anchor to create a small podcast series. This I started, in fact, uh, uh, the, the inspiration for this was uh, during the uh, pandemic years where uh, the children were not attending their uh, regular classes and they had um, um, from the regular activities and many of them had approached me and they were uh, missing the school so that time as a as a counseling um, session as well as to talk to them to listen to them I started this you can see an infographic also as a motivational tool I used augmented reality based mobile applications, uh, mainly uh, AR Lupa, Vuforia, to create these uh, interesting immersive uh, experiences in the class. Uh, this was the time when the children were coming back to school and uh, it was still in hybrid mode where they could connect to uh, with each other and not only learn about the concepts, uh, gain more uh, information, but gain a realistic experience an immersive learning experience um, working uh, with the children in the Tickle Lab classes. I try to encourage innovation and creativity and not only uh, to learn something uh, as a part of a uh, curriculum, but to apply it to solve real life problems. Uh, children have tried to assemble these um, electronic components and pretile kits to uh, create projects that uh, are uh, pertaining, uh, uh, doing something towards conservation of uh, energy, uh, towards uh, the environmental pollution, to curtail the environmental pollution, uh, to minimize carbon footprint. Uh, so they had uh, created a number of projects uh, using these uh, components, and uh, which they are really enjoying, and that is giving them a purpose to learn as well. Um, sustainable developmental goals, uh, as uh, it is always mentioned, that uh, uh, inclusive and equi equitable learning uh, should be there, which should be a learning for a lifetime. And what more than ICT tools can help us to achieve that? So I had uh, introduced children to uh, already our school is an ISO certified school, so they know about um, the right uh, proper way of waste management and waste disposal. Uh, they don't uh, dispose um, plastic components or non-biodegradable waste. And also they know how to properly uh, discard or recycle these products. So I uh, introduced them to create QR codes. And uh, what they did, this was a very interesting activity where they had actually uh, used Google Lens to find out about the origin of a product. And they created uh, QR codes and put on that product and uh, in a way uh, enlightened and spread this awareness of uh, how uh, the biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste should be monitored and uh, discarded. There are other innovations uh, where they created sustainable uh, cityscape uh, and uh, various projects using the 
projectile kits as well as other electronic components uh, the flipped classroom method which is also a feature which is used in our school uh, i tried to incorporate the, this in my teaching process uh, going um, beyond the traditional method of teaching where the teacher used to deliver the lecture and later on the children used to just do the homework uh, this is a way where uh, the learning content is given to the children prior uh, to the prior to uh, their coming to the class and they uh, get to research and get some idea and they brainstorm and when they come back to class they uh, do some activities and real life problem solving the content is mainly given on google classroom and also separately uh, as uh, links and youtube videos and blogs here you can see various virtual tours and during the online session uh, we always motivate children to go beyond uh, the obvious and uh, to develop an idea of uh, finding out why we do something instead of how to do something and where to, what to do why things happen this curiosity uh, must be there in a child so that uh, they they learn uh, science and they actually develop a scientific bent of mind here are some uh, glimpses of students who visited uh, on education exchange who visited the headquarters of nasa and uh, went to philippines and china for a cultural exchange um, during the um, covid pandemic time students came up with mathematical modeling and they used ict tools to create these models and also the videos which they shared with uh, this was a initiative where they wanted to sh uh, share how you can break the chain of uh, the um, spread of the virus and uh, many of them have become very confident they have started writing their own blogs quiz groups using ict tools on their own for me uh, ict tools which i have used are not only uh, helping me to teach something to them but to bring that out in a child uh, as they say you cannot teach a child something you can only uh, help him discover it in uh, himself or herself Uh, here are some uh, safety manuals of internet which children have designed uh, we saw that uh, due to this their overall performance in their academics also uh, was uh, increasing improving and uh, here are some glimpses of uh, the board results which uh, were also showing uh, an improvement uh, basically uh the child is understanding and uh, our goal is to um, make them understand that uh, to learn something for the for the joy of learning for the joy of understanding uh, as they say uh, education or teaching is not actually imparting uh, just information but to inspire change and i always wanted to do something in life so that i can make a difference in the life of a child and to inspire change in our organization uh, there is a constant uh, support for capacity building and learning and uh, during the pandemic years teachers mentored as resource persons and they had the pre periodic meetings where the subject specific tools were discussed lessons were uh, content were developed uh, and uh, teachers would collaborate with each other and uh, connect with larger teaching fraternity so i uh, contributed to my school and to teachers community that time by being one of the learning coaches and sharing ideas digital tools with fellow colleagues helping and collaborating on projects also i used to connect with parents students uh, guiding them on internet etiquette on uh, etiquette of online teaching uh, intricacies of online classes and assessment and conducted training sessions as well here are some glimpses of the training sessions as well as uh, areas where i got trained and i got uh, acquainted with learned lot of things from so many educators and uh, the process is uh, um, ever ever uh, never ending i am uh, i'm proud to be a part of uh, the government portal um, to be very engaged with it and gain the badge of change maker by engaging in, uh, in constructing activities uh, here you can see uh, my students are explaining uh, the changes in the educational landscape over the years on the occasion of 75th independence day where they are talking about diksha and here they have also contributed to a pariksha pe charcha uh, drive of uh, pm and uh, throughout uh, my journey uh, i have as i 
as I began, I have always been a learner and I continue to be a learner and working on my professional development. I continue to um, you know, pursue some courses which were uh, these very enriching workshops from webinars from CIT, NCRT, then uh, courses from Commonwealth of Learning on the Diksha portal, uh, attended the state level workshop on artificial intelligence uh, conducted by West Bengal Council uh, for State. Ma'am, certainly you are sharing certain significant details regarding your journey, but uh, due to paucity of time, I'll have to request you to conclude your words. Absolutely, ma'am. Uh, so with these, uh, with the glimpses of these certificates, these are just um, uh, some memories which I have made and the learning pointers. Uh, the, some remarkable ones were uh, from uh, the certificates from uh, NASA uh, Professional Development Course and National Geographic Society, uh, apart from in the course on AI from Intel. But I would sum it up, as you say, as a, a beautiful learning experience which will never stop. And it will go on uh, until, and it, like, uh, as we carry the light of um, uh, knowledge and ICT integration, I would like to continue um, sharing this um, knowledge with my fellow teachers. Here is the moment where I received the National ICT Award and uh, uh, I was I'm absolutely privileged and honored for uh, this memory. And uh, uh, I would like to conclude here with um, only a uh, heartfelt of thanks for a few people. Uh, uh, I would like to first uh, thank um, our school management and our chairperson, uh, Madam Manjushri Khetan, and uh, for giving us, for believing in us and giving in us ample uh, opportunities, motivation, constant support, without which uh, we as teachers could not go beyond uh, the challenges and do something worthwhile for our students. I would like to thank all um, our principal ma'am, uh, ma'am Sarkar, and uh, all the heads with whom I have worked throughout these, uh, this journey. Um, of course, like ma'am. thank my students. And, uh, uh, and most importantly, I, I would like to thank uh, NCIT, NCRT for uh, always believing in us and enlightening us with uh, uh, your kindness, your motivation and your enriching educational programs. Uh, thank, thank you so you much, so ma'am, for connecting with us, uh, sharing your precious information and the valuable details in the conversation with all our viewers. And we we'll, uh, would have loved to continue the discussion, but due to paucity of time, We'll have to wrap it up here itself. Thanks a lot, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you to all the viewers for connecting with NCRT in this live interactive session. So as uh, we are moving towards the culmination of the program, an important piece of information regarding the availability of NCRT textbooks for all of you. NCRE textbooks for the academic year 2023 to 2024 are available throughout the country. These uh, textbooks may be purchased directly from NCRT sales counters that are located at New Delhi, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Kolkata and Guwahati. The sales counters will be functional on all the weekdays including gazetted holidays, Saturdays, Sundays and the timings would be 9.30 am in the morning till 6 pm in the evenings. So you may also place an order for the books online and the website is flashing on your screens. And if you want the soft copy of the NCRT textbooks, that is the PDF version, then it can also be downloaded for free from NCRT, Diksha, Epartshala website and mobile application. So please visit our website in order to know more about the authorized vendors. A word of thanks to all of you. Stay connected. Next up, we have our Sahyog session for all our viewers. Namaskar.